Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I'm always looking for new and better ways to help you with your vehicle diagnostic and repair. Now I've done a lot of OBD2 car scanner reviews in the past, but I generally focused on getting the best ones possible so you could do as much diagnostic as possible. Now while doing those reviews, I realized that a lot of the scanners can be rather expensive and out of the price range of many of my viewers. So I decided to look around for a more reasonably priced scanner that had a good range of functions and testing available, but was also affordable enough for anyone to be able to buy it. So I came across this unit from Mucar, which starts off as an inexpensive scanner, but can also be upgraded to a mid-level scanner for just a few dollars, as I will explain. So this scanner, I think, works very nicely for people in both the lower and mid-range budget levels. So let's go through and do some testing and see how this guy performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching Honest Tool and Product Reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. Let me open this guy up and we'll see what we got. Alright guys, so will you unbox this puppy? This is everything you get. Now this is the Mucar CDE 900 OBD2 Vehicle Diagnostic Tool by ThinkCar. Available on AliExpress, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $49. And what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the scanner itself, get the OBD2 cable that's already attached to the unit, and you get the USB charging cable to power this unit up because it does have an internal battery so it can run independently of the vehicle. As you can see right now, I have it powered up. Now the dimensions on this unit are 8 inches by 4 inches by 1 inch in thickness. The OBD2 cable is 1.2 meters or 4 feet in length, giving you plenty of cable to work with. The weight on this unit is less than 1 pound, very easy to handle. The warranty on this unit is 1 year, so any trouble whatsoever, contact them, they'll take care of you. Now this unit does have free lifetime updates available through Wi-Fi for all the functions, including the upgrades that I'll talk about in just a moment. This unit has a 4 inch 720p HD touchscreen plus physical buttons. So whether you like to use the touchscreen or the physical buttons, either way, whatever you're comfortable with, you have them both right there. Now the touchscreen dimensions are 480 by 854, so it is a nice, easy to read, convenient size touchscreen. The onboard battery allows you to do unconnected operation like right now, I have the unit turned on so you can look at reports, you can go on the web, it basically functions like a tablet and it has a browser and so forth already built in which we'll look at in a moment so you can go on the web, do whatever you want to do away from the vehicle so it doesn't have to be tied to the vehicle all the time for whatever you want to look up. This unit runs on the Android 6 operating system so you know it's going to be stable. And it does have a large memory already built into it, but if you need more memory for having reports and stuff like that, it does have a little slot at the bottom that opens up, and you can have an additional TF card that you can slide into there, and it'll take up to 256 gigabytes of memory that you can add to the unit, so you can keep track of all sorts of reports and information if that's what you want to do. At the bottom is also where you hook up the USB to charge it up and power it up. Now this unit has 16 different languages built in, so no matter who you are or what language you speak, you should be able to use this because it comes with English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Russian, Dutch, Hungarian, Slovakian, Greek, Romanian, Slovenian, Croatian, and Polish. Now this unit works with over 10,000 vehicles that are OBD2 compatible worldwide. Now the base unit comes with 10 OBD2 functions included. The base unit as you buy it for the $49 comes with 10 OBD2 functions already built in like read codes, clear codes, vehicle information, your VIN lookup, onboard monitoring, including battery voltage test, freeze frame, live data, EVAP test, O2 sensor test, IM readiness and DTC lookup. So that's a fairly complete scanner right there for the base price that you pay for it. And it also auto generates diagnostic reports and it has a four in one data stream monitoring. 
Now, if you want more than that, like I said, you can upgrade this to a mid-level scanner for an extra one-time fee of $40. So if you pay the extra $40, you can upgrade this unit to be able to also read ECM, TCM, SRS, and ABS. So you can also talk to the motor computer, transmission computer, airbag, and ABS computers. All those can be added on for a one-time fee of $40. So if you want to look at it this way, you can have the base unit for $49 or you can upgrade it for an additional $40. So either $49 base unit or $89 mid-level unit. Totally up to you. You don't have to do either one. You can just buy it and keep it as it is. But if you ever have a need to upgrade it, Pay the extra money and you get it. And it's very easy. It's just a little button down here in the corner that you press and it does it all for you over the air. Very, very easy to do. So this unit is great for both beginners and more experienced users on a budget since you can use the basic scanner as it is or upgrade it to have more features and functionality at a minimal cost. On top of that, all the updates for the base functions and the upgrades are also free for a lifetime update. So you never have any additional expenses even after you do all the upgrades to the unit. So whether you want a base scanner or a mid-range scanner, this unit can be both depending on your needs and your budget. So let's take a little closer look at this unit and then we're going to do some testing and see how it performs. Alright guys, so before we hook up this unit to the vehicle and start doing some testing, I just wanted to give you a little closer look at the menu so you can see how easy and intuitive it is to use. Everything is very, very easy to get at. You have your code and freeze frame reader right there, erasing codes, O2 sensor, live data stream, other diagnostic, reports, settings, the ECM and SRS update right there. As you see, I already have that when I upgraded it because otherwise I couldn't show it to you guys. But if you didn't, that button would still be there. It would just say upgrade. And that way then you press the button, it goes through the upgrade procedure, and you get all those functions added on right there. But you don't have to have this guy down here if you don't want to. Totally up to you. Not necessary to get it for having the scanner work as a basic regular scanner. Now you can go into all the different settings. Like I said, all these up here, we can't use until we're hooked up to the vehicle. But let's see, other diagnostic, it tells you right there a lot of different things that you can do and look up different things. And that, like I said, it's up to the vehicle and so forth, vehicle info, all that kind of stuff gives you a lot more info. Now, as far as reports, you know what that is. If you go into the settings, you have all the different things you can do right there, like feedback, repair info, upgrade, order stuff, etc. And then, like I said, you have right there the browser, where if you click on that, you basically go to Google. And you can use it as a tablet, and you can look up anything you want, go on the web, and search for anything you need. And all the other different things on here, network, that's your Wi-Fi, brightness, units of measure, language, all that kind of good stuff. And you can go through and select whatever you want, and check the manual in here, all of that kind of good stuff, figure out whatever you need to do. So let's hook it up and see what this guy can do. All right, guys, so here we are in the vehicle. I have the scanner plugged into the vehicle and I turned off the ignition and you can see that the screen changes right away. You can see right up there at the top where it says that it's a Ford and you can see all the green little modules right there telling you what it can read and what is compatible on this vehicle. The gray modules are modules that the scanner can read but the vehicle either doesn't have or are not compatible with this scanner. So that tells you that this scanner can read all those things in gray, just not on this particular vehicle. Perfectly normal, that happens with every single scanner on the market. So let's go through and look up some of the things. If you look at the code reader right there, codes to read, there are no fault codes, so there's nothing to read there. Freeze frame, nothing to read, nothing to do there. So let's go back. And let's do some of the other diagnostic, because that's the most uh, important stuff right there. Other diagnostic, let's do uh, diagnosing. And then right there, you can either do a manual search where you input the vehicle yourself by scrolling down, or you can do the auto search. Let's do that, and it'll go through and look for the particular vehicle. And there you go. I have it already turned on, so we hit that and it loads up all the vehicle information. And obviously I'm gonna block my VIN number, nobody needs to see that. And let's do a health report. And these are the two modules that it can read on this particular vehicle. Let's go with the uh, PCM. And let's uh, read some data stream. And there you go, it gives you a lot of information about what is going on in your vehicle right now. 
and that is very detailed information and you can obviously click on those little bar right there that is to turn it into a graph and you can graph any of these that you want and you can save sample down here more whatever you can do a lot of things and you can combine all these into different graphing and so forth and you can view it differently if you want to getting closer to each one and see exactly what's going on I mean for an entry level or mid-level scanner however you want to have this one it gives you a lot of really good detailed information I mean this is more than most of your basic scanner like if you go to a uh, Harbor Freight their scanners don't give you any of this kind of information this is really really detailed good information right there I mean you can just keep going look at how much this scrolls there's a lot of information there that this actually has see the more button and you can combine them and so forth you can do reports you can record what is going on let's see if we hit combine do that one do that one all right so when you select the information you want to look at you hit more right there and then you combine them and it gives you a graph and it shows you everything that's going on there and I have four different items that I selected and you see them in different colors and you see what's going on right there telling you exactly what each one is doing so as I accelerate the graph changes but again that's very good detail and telling you everything that's going on for everything up there and down here for every particular thing that you're scanning again for an inexpensive scanner this is really good And I'm just doing a little demonstration, so none of this stuff means anything in reality. I just picked four random things to be able to graph. But if you're doing real diagnosing, you can pick things that actually work together and are important for solving whatever problem you have, and they will have a lot more meaning. But you can see it's very good, very clear, and then you just go back, and again, pick whatever it is that you want, clear out the ones that you don't want, and then select the ones that you do want, and it's very nice, very clear very detailed and if you want to see it even bigger you have it all right there very good everything is real accurate life you see how it changes when I give a gas everything changes very well so that's very very nice right there let's back out of this stuff so there you have it this is really a good scanner very nice very complete scanner for the money all right guys there you have it a review and demonstration of the mucar cde 900 obd2 vehicle diagnostic scanner i think this is a really great scanner for the money you can buy this at a very affordable price and keep it as an entry level scanner for as long as you want or you can upgrade it for a few dollars more and turn it into a mid-level scanner to be honest i think for the money this is a really fantastic scanner even as a base level scanner, this unit brings more information scanning functionality than other base level scanners that I have reviewed in the past. You get a really affordable scanner that can do what most DIY mechanics will need for under 50 bucks. Or if you're really into diagnosing your cars and want a lot more information, you can upgrade it and have a really great scanner for under 90 bucks. That is really great pricing. And remember that this scanner has free lifetime updates, so you never have to spend any more money on top of the price that you already paid. Check out their AliExpress page for all the details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.